Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review. This is the uh, second part of the Transformers Beast Wars versus pack. This is Apache versus Megatron. We're doing Megatron. Uh, this is a G2 mold. I like it because hey, it's G2. But uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have any of the cool electronics like the G2 had. So that's a kind of off about it. Let's go show you the box real quick. There's good old Megatron, Beast Wars like. And I don't know if it made a parents, Destron, Predacons, wherever you want to do it. Yeah, I forgot to show the nice little maximal symbol back in the day. Transformers Beast Wars. This is the G2 version. Very easy to transform. I like this uh, in that sense. There's a side of the box. Big blocky figure. Still hasn't gotten from their G1 roots. There's the, uh, I don't know if they made a, I don't know what this is, a weird transmittals, whatever you want to call it. G2 Megatron, there's Apache with his weird alt mode. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. Here we go. Bottom of the box. Yeah, just drawing a little play set. Cool. All right. So let's go ahead. It's a big figure. It's a big tank. There's no doubt that it rolls really nice. It does a few things, too. Turret doesn't really move, so we got that going against it. I like this humongously big, huge purple gun here and he's got missile launchers over here on the side a little cannon over here 50 cal mount if you want to call it that this is this little gun for robot mode which is kind of tiny it looks like a gun for a deluxe class not a freaking leader class so yeah and wheels well you can kind of see the little Predacon symbol yeah, as you can see it was made back in the day Hasbro Takara 92 made in Taiwan so yeah it, it's 20 year old vehicle, G2 colors, very reminiscent. Love how it hides the robot extras pretty damn well. That's the guy's waist, but you really could not tell. I mean, that's the uh, knees and whatnot, hands from the back. So it's not bad. You can tell it's a Destron, uh, sorry, Predacon. So yeah, very good detailing. Garish, G2 colors abound, camouflage pattern, paint pattern pretty good. 9 out of 10. I love the detailing of the th treads. Tank treads looking good, doesn't roll actually, but it, I mean the tank treads don't roll, they just roll like that. Comes with a few things I showed you last time. Oops, keep up in the camera. The little card over here, maximal card, Predacon card, whatever you want to call it. His stats, cool. Comes with the instruction booklets, a few little comes with this booklet, showed you all the detailings back in the day. Uh, so yeah, you can see all the cool looking characters you could have gotten. Comes with a couple of warnings and whatnot, and the instruction books, which I have folded out. Big figure, big, big figure. So, yeah, nine out of ten for this mode. Have I haven't said so already? Transformation is really easy. Let's see if I can do this if I remember. I know that uh, the arms, I'm gonna pop that arm out. I'm gonna pop his gun out. Comes with six missile launchers. Oh, and I forgot the missile launching gimmicks. So, it comes with six missiles. I'm gonna have a few of them out. Pop that open here. Yeah, you can they you can get all six in here and they have this little trigger right here. So see if I can launch it. See this trigger? I'm just gonna go ahead and detent that and let's see how bad it launches. See, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Here we go. Well I like that. Big big stick. And what's it say here? Oh yeah. Peace through tyranny. Alright, here we go. I probably shouldn't shoot it that way. Alright, one, there's the button. There you go. <laughs> Let's try the head again. It didn't work out too well. It's supposed to fire. Alright. See if I got it all loaded up. Alright. <laughs> Good luck this time. Ready? There you go. It works. Alright. Enough about that. Let's transform them. Split up the arms. Real easy. Lower the legs down. Just like that. Good. You got a little ankle pivots here good for that and open up this you can see the waist over here I wish they would have done more on the articulation all right split that apart it snaps in should snap in there we go big big figure all right. and if you wanted to they have a place over here for the missiles to attach just like that. 
You have one on the other side, so you can score two missiles. He's got six of them, so no, no worries. All right, right over here, we got some tabs right here, the tab right there. Just pop that sucker down, click it in. Good, big, big figure. All right, already split open the arms. Roll open the arms down, turn around. Stubby little arms, but you can bend it at the forearm. There we go, just like that. Move this humongous cannon to the side. The head pops up just like that. <laughs> Do it again. There you go. No head articulation. Jeez, man, this thing is a brick for G2. And humongous freaking cannon. If you want, you can stick this missile launcher back in again. And you can cool this tiny deluxe size gun, put it in his fist. Now, I thought it would go in his fist. There we go. Yeah, 5 mil peg over there. As far as articulation, it has this weird articulation. Elbow joint right there. That's it. Shoulder does no ratchet. It just goes around. Yeah, kind of disappointing in that sense. Alright, there we go. Put this gun again. No waist articulation. That's all molded in. It's kind of weird. Huge blocky figure. The knee does move a little bit. But it is constricted by the fact that you have to tab this in little tiny ankles it will it will stand up let's face it Ugh. no head articulation although i like the little lavender black and fuchsia red i don't know what color that would be megatron-esque yeah those are weird colors <laughs> i don't know if it pick it up but that is a fuchsia that is a no sorry lavender that's a fuchsia colored and the silver gunmetal whatever you want to call that man what a brick stand all right <laughs> here we go big big figure humongous now, unfortunately it doesn't have the cool electronics of the G2 so I'm gonna knock that down there he is so you can tell he is leader class size let me see if I can put him with bumblebee over here freaking big humongous brick of a figure <laughs> yeah you can tell he's leader class size there's no doubt about it Whew. what a brick five out of ten I wish he would have done a little bit better on this guy but, I mean, he looks cool, nonetheless. <sighs> Wish he would, uh, well, it's 92. We'll give, him, we'll give him that much. He has one to grow on. That's all I got, YouTubers, and I catch you all next time.